Can you tell me which one was pre-rinsed? That's right. so crazy to me. It's unbelievable. This is Three Mistakes When. I'm Jess Teich, Deputy Editor at the Good Housekeeping Institute, and today we're gonna to talk about the mistakes you make when loading your dishwasher. And I am joined by the amazing Carolyn Forte, <laughs> the Executive Director of the Cleaning Lab here at Good Housekeeping. Tell me a little bit about your experience, what you do in the cleaning lab. I mean, I've spent pretty much most of my career evaluating all the cleaning products and tools and appliances that our readers and consumers use at home. So I've been recommending the best and sharing my, my best tips and advice for how to get through there cleaning chores quicker and easier. Okay, what are some of the common mistakes that you hear from readers when it comes to the dishwasher? Is there a right way or is there a wrong way to load the dishwasher? So, there is. There is? There is. We're gonna learn today. <laughs> the first and most common mistake that most people make is pre-rinsing their dishes. You absolutely do not have to. That's I am very guilty of that, mm. but explain why. Well, you don't have to today because dishwashers are so good. We've got a couple of dishes here that we're gonna do a little experiment on. So okay. um, you really don't wanna pre-rinse them. The reason is because it uses too much water. A good dishwasher, one that's Energy Star certified, uses only about four gallons of water. But hand washing a full load of dishes at the sink, 24 gallons. Mm -hmm. Only exception to the rule is if you're not running the cycle right away. Okay. So if okay. you're doing a load right away, you absolutely do not have to pre-rinse. And oh, some no. people will ask me, well, don't the dishes need to be dirty in order for the dishwasher detergent to work? And the answer is yes, there are enzymes in the detergents that really attack the food that's on okay. the plates. So that's important. But it's really more important for the dishwasher. Dishwashers today sense how much soil is in the load. So if you put your dishes in and they're super clean, Dishwasher is going to think it doesn't have much to do, oh. and it's going to shorten the cycle. So a little food is good on the plates for the detergent and for the dishwasher. My dishwasher is smarter than me. It really is. Humbling. <laughs> what we're going to do is we've got two dishes here. Mm -hmm. We're going to pre-rinse one, and we're not going to pre-rinse the other. We're going to run them in the cycle, and we'll see how well they do. I love a good competition. That's what we love. <laughs> So when you say pre-rinse, you don't mean just running water over it, you mean like, you know, yeah. getting all of the gunk. You know, a lot of people wash their dishes before they put them in the dishwasher, which really uses a lot of water. And right you can now. see how much water it's taking me to do this. So yeah. that's really something that you don't want to do. Okay. So, I mean, we've given it a good... Yeah, it feels saturated, right? right? right. So I'm not the expert here, no. but you tell me if it feels saturated. Right. I think we got most of it off. How much water do you think you may have just used, ballpark? I'd say at least a couple of gallons. I mean, it was running it for quite a while, and that could be the whole rinse cycle that a dishwasher would use for a whole load. So, and that was just one plate. Mind blown. It's unbelievable. So we're gonna put them in now. A uh, little tip that we like to recommend is, if, especially if you haven't used the dishwasher in a while, maybe overnight, is to run the hot water tap at the sink closest to the dishwasher. Because what oh. that does is it purges your pipes of any cold water that's sitting in there. So then when the cycle starts, you get hot water in the that dishwasher. That makes perfect sense, and I never would have thought of that. It really does make a difference. So now we're gonna start this dishwasher. We've got ready to go. Perfect. And we'll see come back know. in a little while and see how it does. All right, Jess, cycle's done. Let's All right. Take a look. I need to see. Absolutely. So we've got our two plates here. And can you tell me which one was pre-rinsed? And which one wasn't? They look That's great. That's so crazy to me. It's unbelievable. I mean, we didn't even take everything off at the beginning. Okay, what is the second most common mistake that people make with their dishwashers? The second mistake is loading the dishwasher incorrectly. Now, keep in mind that all dishwashers are different. So you really do need to check with your owner's manual or the website. They have different racks, different shelves, different cup configurations. So there's things you should follow that they recommend. The first item that we're going to show in terms of loading is the glassware. The mistake a lot of people make is they put the glasses over these times, mm -hmm. right? And that's, that that's looks bad. Familiar. It looks familiar, yeah. but it's bad for two reasons. Oops. Okay. One is it can stretch the glasses and cause breakage, Okay. and it can cause spotting. Okay. So what we recommend is that you rest the glasses against the tines. Okay. Okay, like this. It Beautiful. also keeps them angled so the water runs off, that so you're less sense. likely to get spotting. Mm -hmm. So glasses against the tines, not over them. Okay, so now we're gonna look at bowls. The advice here is if the water can't hit it, it's not gonna get clean. Okay. So keep that in mind. Now, it might be tempting to just kind of lazy dishwashing 101 and put them in as fast and as much as you can because you wanna do as few loads as possible, but yeah. something like that, you can guarantee that the bowls on top are not gonna get clean. So instead, you can cascade them this way. They're gonna get clean, you might get a few less in there, but the bottom line is, is that they'll come out clean. Okay. I'd rather have them all clean than have to rewash some. I agree. Do it right once. Right. And you won't have to do it again. So true. <laughs> okay. 
All right, next is the plates. Now for the bottom rack, what you wanna keep in mind is that you wanna face the dirty side of whatever you're putting in towards the center. What's the center? Yes, that's where the spray is the strongest. Huh. So put your plates in this way. Okay. If you've got casseroles or pans or things that you want to lay, those should be put face down. That right? Makes that sense. makes sense. Yes. And put them on this side in that one. That is so now everything's so facing the center, the spray's the strongest, and you're going to get the best cleaning. That one I never knew. Next, flatware. Flatware. Okay. This is I a, got big, that. a big bone of contention in a lot of households. Oh, I know. yeah. Yes. Huge argument. <laughs> totally. Knife can go down because it's just a knife. But like spoons, Aaron did this. They need to go. So what you want to do is if you have a flatware basket like this, we recommend that the knives go for safety, blade down. Spoons, you want to alternate up and down. Okay. And the reason for that is you don't want them to nest. Oh, so, so everything put some gets up, clean that put way. Put some down. Right. So up and down, alternate the spoons. And forks, we recommend uh, the tines up for the best oh. cleaning. Be careful when you unload it. Okay. Because you don't want to stab yourself. Yeah, I'm a tines but, down girl, but tell yes. me why up. Why up? Because you want to get the best cleaning between the tines, and you also want to grab them by the handle, not okay. the top. So that's the way you get the best cleaning with your flatware. So now you've got everything, the water's going to reach it all, and you'll get great results. So what should we leave out of the dishwasher? Well, we don't recommend putting anything that's wooden in the dishwasher. So wooden cutting boards, wooden spoons. Cast iron shouldn't go in the dishwasher. If you have, you know, valuable chef's knives or carving tools, you wouldn't want to put those in the dishwasher too, for a number of reasons. You don't want to damage the blaze, and you don't want to damage your dishwasher either. You don't want to cut the racks or the tines on those. So. One trend I've been seeing on TikTok is people throwing these detergent packets right into the machine instead of putting it in the detergent pouch. Mistake number three, tossing your detergent packet into the bottom of the dishwasher instead of using the dispenser. Too good that's to be a true. Big, that's a big no-no. What happens when you do that is that the detergent packet starts to dissolve in the pre-wash portion of the cycle and doesn't fully make its way to the wash portion. So it can be washed away before the actual wash portion of the cycle begins. Terrible. And what happens is then you're gonna compromise cleaning. Here's how you do it. Put it in the dispenser, close the door, start your cycle. The door opens at the right time, the packet comes out and you get the best cleaning. And you're good to go. Okay, good to know. Now, when it comes to efficacy, are the packets more, less, or as effective as powder or liquid? In our Good Housekeeping tests, we found that they are all equally effective within the same brand. Okay. So we've seen bigger differences between brands of detergent than between forms of detergent. So oh. if you find a brand that you like, you should be okay with either the powder, the liquid, the gel, or the packets. Okay. Packets are going to be a little more expensive because they're convenient to use. Very true. Powders are a little bit less expensive, so buy whatever fits your budget. Okay. But find a brand you like and stick with that. What happens if you open your dishwasher and the packet hasn't fully dissolved? We see that from time to time, and that could be a number of things. Sometimes the packets are funny shape and they get stuck or wedged in the dishwasher a dispenser and they don't come out. If that happens, you'll probably have to run another cycle because you ran a cycle without any detergent, so that really wasn't good. But it could also be a problem with the dishwasher dispenser. Oh. The door may not open at the right time. Huh. There might be something wrong with the timing of the cycles. So if you see it happening a lot, it may be worth calling in a service person and have them take a look at it. 